Ma, oh gosh, my bum, I'm hungry, boy, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. I can eat anything right now. Let me go for something to eat now, please. Look, girl, look, you doubles there. Let me go now. Feeling far good, doubles, you know. Doubles? This already morning? You're not so fat already. You want to get more fat? All that oil and greasy food you're eating? Behave yourself now, girl. Don't you know how big? My mother and my father are big. All are we big? Oh, this big is it. tone. This is muscle. Mm. Muscle? What muscle is that? That's fat. Just now you can't see a big toe. You could touch your big toe? Look, girl, I'm not fat. This is this is tone. Who buys all kind of things with you? Five. It's everyday doubles. Whole day doubles. Look, doubles, man. Here what? Make everything you have. Everything you have, make it for this fat one here. Because it's every day he had to be eating doubles. Morning, evening, night. Look at the size of he. Never going and getting. And you excited with all the doubles, ain't it? All the doubles you want to eat. I can't take this anymore, you know, Pumba. I can't take it anymore. I'm fed up. Just so you get dead on me. I can't take this. I done. I done. It's fat, you fat. I can't bother. It's up for you no more, you know. Just on your car wheel to see a big too, right? Hey, girl, who's you? I, I strong and sexy. I can pick up anything I want. That is not muscle. That is fat upon fat upon fat. Look, girl, I have real curves. Real man has curves. Who's you to call me fat? Well, brother man, my name is Kalouti and I'm a biochem genie. And I'm here to tell you that all that we're going on eh? that is fat. That is not no muscles. Just so you will be able to see the important things if you know what i mean what nah girl i had to see them thing you know well here we are right since you're so concerned now i'm gonna take you through the steps all the processes to break down all them facts so you understand right so you look like a smart fella right you understand that in order for the fats to break down in your body you need to be your body needs to be in a fasting state so where's that fasting state thing you're talking about a fasting state well you see all the times you just be eating and saying Right, the times that you're not eating and you're not stuffing your face with doubles, that is the fasting state. <laughs> oh God, man, I be hungry all the time. Oh gosh, yes, I know you be hungry all the time, but all the time, so boy, you have to ease up a little bit, right? Yeah, I know all them things already, but I ain't know too much about it now. But anyway, the fasting state. First, your body will not break down fat if you're on a high energy levels, right? All the time that you're, you're eating the doubles and things, yeah, your body will always be on a high energy level. You need to cut down that, right? Oh gosh, girl, I know all them things already, I know I'm fat, but as a chini, you know, I love my doubles. Oh god, yeah, I know you love your doubles and things, but you had to cut down a little bit. You see, all the fat and things and doubles, it's toxic for your body. I'm sure you just be seeing what's going on in the news. All the heart problems, all the health problems. You're, when, you're, when, you're, when, you're, when you're walking, you're just gapping for breath and things. All that's because of the fat. You need to cut down, right? Yeah, that's true, yeah, but how are we going to get rid of all this fat? Because me, you know, you know. Well, first of all, when the fat enter in your body, it is broken down into tiny bits and those are called fatty acids. Okay, okay, I'll catch what you're saying there. Right? The fatty acids is be broken down in the mitochondria of some cells. There is undergo a process called beta oxidation. After beta oxidation, what you just get is something called acetyl-CoA, FADH and NADH. Right? Acetyl-CoA just goes straight to the Krebs cycle. Now FADH and NADH, them just leave from, them, them just go into the, the cycle to the ETC and just convert energy. That's what it's used that for. So basically it's a process that makes molecules for other processes. So you're catching up with me so far? But wait now, how do fat molecules enter the mitochondria? That's an excellent question. Fatty acids is made out of 16 carbons, right? And it's also known as long chain fatty acids. Now they just have to enter the mitochondria. But first they have to be, we will just be transported now, right? And that's with the help of some special enzymes. And them enzymes just make something called a carnitine shuttle. So it's like a bus? Yeah, like a bus, right? Right, so before they could use the shuttle, right? They have to be converted into something called fatty acyl CoA chains. And this is done by the enzyme called thiokinase. What kinase? Thiokinase. Kinase is an enzyme that is helped to phosphorylate other molecules. Oh, phosphorylate. So that is like when you, when you add a phosphate molecule. Right. You see, you know the thing, man. I have to explain to you. You're a smart fella. I tell you that. Yeah, I know the thing. I was saying, 
that the fatty acids for them to enter the mitochondria all right this go through well three main processes right the first one right fatty acid coe is transferred to the hydroxyl group of carnitine and this is done by something called carnitine acyl transferase one and that is in the outer membrane of the mitochondria so the second one acyl carnitine is shuttled into the membrane and this is done by something called carnitine acyl carnitine translocase now the third one acyl carnitine is converted to something called acyl coa and by this is this is happened by something called carnitine acyl transferase 2 and this is happening in the membrane of the mitochondria so you understand what i'm saying you're keeping up with what i'm saying yeah. all right i loosen you nowhere well once you're inside the mitochondrial matrix the fatty acyl coa does undergo they now at liberty to undergo beta oxidation now the fatty acid coa molecule is then degraded to acetyl coa and this is by a repetition of four processes and these four processes is oxidation hydration second oxidation and something called tyolytic cleavage now at the end product of each cycle you're going to get a carbon chain that is cleaved from two carbons well a fatty acid that is two carbons long you understand what i'm saying yeah. then you're going to get acetyl coa fadh and nadh so all these things that happen what all these things mean in the first reaction fatty acyl coa is dehydrogenated to form a trans double bond between carbons 2 and carbons 3. this is catalyzed by something called fatty acyl de coa dehydrogenase and it is after it is catalyzed it is formed in oil coa now the cofactor for this reaction is fad and now it is after that that cofactor is used is reduced to something called fadh2 in the second reaction in oil coa is then hydrated at the double bond to form something called hydroxyl acyl coa and this is this process is catalyzed by the enzyme called in oil coa hydratase in the third reaction hydroxyl acyl coa is oxidized to form beta keto acyl coa and this reaction is catalyzed by something called 3 hydroxy acyl coa dehydrogenase this reaction uses nad plus as the cofactor and it is then reduced to nadh plus so this reaction is catalyzed by beta keto thiolase now in this process what happens to acetyl coa there's a cleavage of acetyl coa right and this is from the original fatty acid long chain the 16 carbons so i tell you now yeah. now after this cleavage what has happened is that it loses two carbons so from 16 carbons if you take away two and you get like 14 carbons right so after this final process you see reactions one to four that this happen over and over and over again until you have cleaving of two carbon atoms from a four carbon chains right and then you will form acetyl coa nadh and fadh2 right so when these fat molecules cleave these chunks what has happened to them eyes up eyes up them chunks this go into your body to provide energy now you see with acetyl coa it is going to the krebs cycle before it can go to the etc you remember what is the etc right all right the etc is the electron transport chain so as you see beta oxidation this provide the body with energy that's when your body not in a fasting state and when you don't have high energy meals but you don't have to worry about that i mean you just always you fall off fat right so your body not in that fasting state so you see it wouldn't break down you wouldn't get that energy because you're filling yourself with fat what i'm saying right always high energy meals and so on i mean yes you have your fat but now if you starve yourself they're not going to help you so don't starve yourself and think yeah that make real sense you're talking there plus you see them doubles cut down on the damn doubles eh and if our loaf of bread pass brother man hear what you just eat the first two slices. don't eat the whole thing at all eh and butter don't talk about butter right just take that out of your life just keep things healthy keep it simple you know what i mean oh god ease up on the fat and and i'm sure in a few months time you're gonna be looking like a star boy all them girls gonna be running you down but wait now i thought it was a genie giving my wish all this hard work i do Whatever, yes, I'll go take your advice.
Can we go for doubles now? Nah, yeah, let's go for some of the cooking. I got over there now. No doubles? Nah, that's too healthy and fatty for you. Oh, 